welcome to the course introduction for the Siebel Test Automation Training brought to you by the Siebel Hub, your number one resource for always up-to-date Siebel CRM training. Our latest mini course on Siebel Test Automation introduces you to all important topics around Siebel Test Automation. So you get an overview, of course. We'll talk in detail about the recording and playback architecture. You will learn how to properly record test scripts, how to use the scripts panel, how to playback test scripts in unit mode, how to import and work with the imported test scripts, and as a bonus, you will learn all about the keyword driven or KWD framework and all the keywords will be explained in this course. We will talk about batch testing with Jenkins, about creating test sets and master suites and test executions for batch testings. And we'll discuss the data model for test automation and where to find more documentation. Automating Siebel applications or any enterprise applications is not a new concept. So the Siebel test automation that we talk about in this course has been introduced with IP17 and is available, of course, in IP17 and higher. And that includes a built-in automation framework, which allows you to record scripts, edit those scripts and play back those scripts without any coding. And you can include, of course, custom code, but that is not required. That's a, the framework supports unit and batch testing. And for batch testing, we have what we call the test execution framework with the ability to do real lights out batch testing with Jenkins. And there's a Jenkins plugin that supports that. That comes complete with end-to-end -end management capabilities, the, all the necessary screens and views, and is based on the existing KWD or keyword driven framework that exists in Siebel for a long time. So it's building on the shoulders of giants. And in this course, you will understand all the building blocks, including the KWD framework and learn how to use the modern Siebel test automation in IP17 and higher. In the architecture chapter, we'll learn everything about the building blocks that make Siebel test automation possible. That is the recording architecture and of course the playback architecture, including unit testing and batch testing. Every test automation starts with recording, defining the test scripts, recording the processes. So we have an entire chapter dedicated for that. And also for the subsequent steps, that is the playback in unit mode and of course to rearrange add and edit test steps to existing recorded or manually created test scripts there is a lot of emphasis on the keyword driven framework so we're really able to understand each and every relevant keyword for modern siebel test automation not just those that are used during a recording but also those that you can add manually such as steps for validation assertion or invocation of custom Java classes as to run your own Selenium code or invocation of the Siebel Inbound REST API. The course covers an impressive array of keywords that are all documented and explained with details and demonstrations. And of course, a major part of the class is about setting up and using Jenkins for executing test executions in batch or lights out testing. So we will have a lot of things to talk about in the course about Jenkins and the setup of test executions, master suites, test sets, test plans, and so forth. The course wouldn't be complete without a discussion of test strategies and test plans, a detailed discussion of master suites and test sets, and of course, setting up test executions. And last but not least, using data sets for improving the management, the manageability and separation of input values from test scripts. So I do hope to be able to welcome you in our video training or in a live class on Siebel Test Automation soon. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye bye.